hey guys welcome back to my channel let's talk about this tweet that was made by noble Igwe. this tweet has to do with cc and the tweet has gotten a lot of reactions from people you know that with twitter they have so many fan bases and supporters there so those people that this tweet did not favor they are upset they've had a lot to say but anyways before i get right into people's reaction and all that let's find out what um noble igwe tweeted what what his tweet is all about he said all stars was for sissy but it's a conversation for another day guys do you agree with him i know like i said different people have different faves and all that people belong to different fan bases but let's be real let's be more real here do you agree with the statement and what is he basing the statement on is it based on how successful the housemates are how much of brand deals they've signed and all that for me personally seeing what has been going on on social media the twitter the twitter street and all that i think he's saying this based on how much deals the housemates they've been um, they've had since they left the house and looking at all that i think cc is the one with the most so far it could be other people having private deals that we don't have any knowledge of but the ones that we have knowledge of the ones that they've shared on social media judging based on that i think cc is the one with the most so far since they left the house cc has done a whole lot appearances um events and all that cc has done a whole lot so let's say that's the case yeah because this is what i think personally i think that's what he's trying to and that's what he's basing his statement on like i said people people are very much upset they've brought up the topic of mercy or oh, mercy mercy has a lot of money they always say mercy has money mercy has house in banana island she's doing better than others she's well off and all that but that's not what he's saying guys he's saying deals business you you own your own money is different from having business deals when you own your own money you have your house your house is there the highest you can do is appreciate depending on the location and if you decide to sell it off later fine but you need deals you need business to bring in income do you understand you need to be making money and making interest if you have invest investment and all that you don't need something and okay house is not like house is an asset your house is an asset do you get but you're not selling it now do you get so that's not what he's not that's not what he's saying he's not talking about people that own houses and all that this has a house they bought for her according to them so let's see I, what sparked all this whole stuff is the um recent deal that she signed i told you guys about the deal she signed yesterday let me read it for you guys what this deal is all about i already told you guys before but i i found out something more interesting about the deal so this deal is quite a big one because you the deal will be aired on over 10 channels yeah so it's the whole cooking deal i spoke about this one this is not the most recent one i will get the most recent one yeah so it's this whole cooking deal so this deal will be aired on um african magic family tvc nta and eight other channels that's big nta tvc that's big if you ask me so tv is a tv cc is the host of this event it's called cooking meals on a budget urban kitchen yeah okay let's move past that it's really nice honestly so she has her own show wow wow quite interesting i know messi he has her own show um what's the name of that show again what's is it what is next with messi Eki or something she has her own show but this particular show i think it's very different so it has to do with the public more than your personal achievement you as a person this is, this, is, this is a cook show you know what i mean and a lot of people will be interested or might be or should be interested because it has to do with cooking on a budget like i said i'm going to watch this because of sissy who want, who doesn't want to cook on a budget who doesn't want to save money to get some people what it's what takes most of their money is food so if they can cut down on stuff it's going to help like i said this one is for the masses for people a lot of people will be interested as opposed to the one that Messi was talking about herself that's her personal life a lot of people don't even care if you know what i mean okay that is it so the most recent deal she signed 
has to do with this travel tour this is a travel tour yeah travel tour agency and she announced the whole stuff today so this is what the day is all about just give me a moment to pull it up so she said i'm excited to announce my newest partnership with mav gallop mav got up travel and tours joining the mav got up family feels like a dream come true and i couldn't be more excited for this incredible journey ahead mav Goal up travel and tours commitment and delivery to ex- delivery ex- delivering exceptional travel experience experiences aligns perfectly with my own values today we will we'll strive to provide you with the best travel services and help you discover the world in a way that leaves you in- inspired enlightened and filled with joy let's leave it there this part to this particular travel agency it's also in a way sponsoring her trip to singapore i remember telling you guys about her, her trip to singapore and um, she said she had five slots and i think those slots are filled up already in that in those slots we have um angel we have um venita or marshall is also there neo and ek i don't know if kid wire might join he has money so he can fly anywhere and i think he has passport that permits him to fly anywhere so he can join them he doesn't necessarily need to be in that stuff but this whole stuff has already caused a drama also mercy's fans are upset some people are claiming that oh she invited mercy but mercy said she didn't want to be part of the trip she get that oh they gave flimsy excuses because of venita and the fact that angel and Ike are also part of the trip that she doesn't want to be part of the trip i don't know how true that is i don't think she did invite mercy it's possible she did but i don't really think so i think this trip yeah she's inviting people that are so close to her i'm not saying mercy is not close to her but she cannot possibly invite everybody if she, if she doesn't invite mercy i believe mercy understands if mercy is going on her, on her own trip i don't think she might even invite her because she might have people that are uh, closer to her than CC, if you know what I mean. It's possible she's, she might even invite Mercy, but I'm just saying it's based on what people are saying. Oh, because of those people. Okay, fine. That's also a, a, a point to look at. If Mercy thinks she's going to be uncomfortable, then why would she want to travel with people that she's uncomfortable with? I don't even know if Mercy is uncomfortable with these people. We are just here making speculations and making assumptions. The other time, Benita came out and said she and Messi are cool. It's just people that are just blowing things out of proportion. She get. She and Messi are cool. Although we've not seen her speak of Messi a lot since the, even at all since the show ended, I've seen her speak of um Sissy. She calls Sissy a puff puff and all that. So, but she she granted an interview and said there's really not no bad blood between both of them. They're cool. But Iki and Messi, I don't know even what's going on there. To be honest with you, Angel and Messi, I don't know what's going on there either she care so it could be she invited mercy but i, I doubt if, she, if if mercy said she wasn't coming that she invited her. I, don't, I'm, I don't know but they said five slots and those slots are filled up and these people that she chose are her close pals she gets they were closing the house and she spoke about them a lot and her fans are very happy for her and they said at least she made friends this time around and indeed she did make friends she did, indeed she did she did make friends so this trip is is, is a promising one singapore here we come i'm not part of them but you know we'll have to follow them with our audio committer i want to see zoom in to see everything that is going on yeah so this is it for cc they said cc has signed a whole lot of deal so people took took their mind back to their season i can remember telling you guys that see during um double wahala season yeah those people signed a whole lot of deals after double wahala season we had a pepper then season they also signed deals but those deals could not be compared to that of double wahala those people they had premium brands premium deals i'm not even going to lie alex also has good deals as well working with with family deals that's i mean family brand that is a big one because family brands is like cuts across everyone everyone has a family even if you had a family and they pushed it out you have a family so a lot of people we have nigeria is more is very traditional and we are more family oriented if you get what i mean so that means you have larger markets if you get what i mean 
so those brands are very very um particular about their ambassadors and representatives because with family there's a lot of things to consider talk about the sensei you get we know how traditional we are in nigeria talk about the sensei nobody wants a certain person to represent their brand when it comes to family brands so that's also something to consider so what happened why did brands stop working with um big brother nigeria housemates after nengi's season why could it be their character a lot of people said it has to do with the toxicity that comes with the whole fan base and all that it's possible but this is something to ask because sissy has gone she was there before and she's back again she came back for the old stars and she's still bagging deals reputable deals does it have to do does it have to do with the people or could it be sissy is well connected i know she's connected very connected her family is connected could it be that or could it be how she comported herself how she carried herself and brands are so happy to work with her or maybe because of her work experience in the past or she's very relatable and more reasonable or matured i don't know i'm just speculating what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section and definitely i'll see you guys in another one alex is one person that is also working with premium brands reputable brands as well not chingum roadside brands no premium and reputable brands as well i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye